so this is the matlab program uh, which is used for uh, representing the uh, binary data which should be transmitted so there will be two types one is the unipolar return to zero and unipolar non return to zero so now we will be looking at the program unipolar not return to zero or no return to zero uh, so let us consider the execution of the program so i am executing this program so whenever uh, I execute the program it asks for the input enter the binary data stream so make use of a square bracket and then feed the data 1 0 1 1 so whatever may be the length of the data just give the data and then press the enter button so this is your output unipolar no return to 0 or no non return to 0 so you can observe the you can observe the data here so uh, it takes a time interval of one second or uh, one unit okay so the first data is what one so for the entire cycle the value is one next for the entire cycle the value is uh, zero so this is zero next for the third cycle the value is one so it is one next again for the next cycle the value is one okay the value is one so this is the output so in case of non return to zero non return to zero what happens is if the value is one so in the enter time uh, the value will be the voltage will be remaining as one itself if it is zero means the output will be remaining at zero itself so one zero one and one so this is the unipolar non return to zero the name unipolar means it will be having only one amplitude that is positive amplitude there will be no negative amplitude so we call it as unipolar okay now let us look at the program for this so the first thing is So first thing is uh, h is equal to input so h is equal to input enter the binary data stream so clc means uh, clear uh, next clear all so this is used to clear the variables this is used to clear the uh, screen so now clf it is also used to clear the uh, screen okay h is equal to input enter the binary data stream so it is asking you to input the data whatever the data which will be feeding will be stored in the variable h to be acting as an array whenever you are feeding the data it has to be through the square bracket let us consider this as 1 0 1 and 1 now uh, we will making use of n equals 1 okay? uh, n equals 1 then l is equal to length of h so what is the length of h it is given as uh, 1 2 3 4 so the length of this input data will be calculating calculated and it will be stored in the variable l so l equals 4 then h of l plus 1 h of l plus 1 so what is it is indicating is so the for the fifth element okay we are introducing 1 over here okay h of l plus 1 is equal to 1 so that would be the 1 value so we are inserting 1 at this instance for our convenience okay uh, now while n is less than length of h minus 1 so the given value of n is what 1 length of h is 4 so 4 minus 1 is 3 so n is less than what 3 so the value of n is 1 so the value of this is 3 so if this condition is satisfied then we will be uh, assigning the time okay so time is equal to n minus 1 so n minus 1 means n equals 1 1 minus 1 is what 0 so you're taking this zero next we are uh, having a partition so if this is zero uh, and then we will be having partitions so the difference between these two there is an interval so uh, the interval will be 
0 0.001 so if this is your first sample then the next sample appears after 0 0.001 okay so taking the time domain as 0 to 1 and this is partitioned into 1 by 1000 intervals 0, 0.0 means 1 it is partitioned into 1000 intervals okay that is the meaning of this so uh, taken uh, time uh, time is 0 to 1 0 0.001 is the interval and that is partitioned okay the 0 to 1 is partitioned into 1000 samples okay next if h of n equals 0 if the given first sample uh, that is h of n means you know that value of n is nothing but 1 it, this is the value this is what h of 1 okay so when since n equals 1 h of 1 so this is your h of 1 if h of 1 equals 0 so if this value was 0 okay you would have entered into this one since uh, h of 1 is not equal to 0 you will be entering into the, the next if statement so that is uh, here okay so we are entering we are entering to this statement okay so here h of so h of 1 your h of 1 is equal to what 1 so uh, uh, your control has come over here then we will be checking it h of n plus 1 so h of n plus 1 means 1 plus 1 so that is h of 2 equals 0 it checks whether the next sample is 0 if that is the case okay if the first sample is 1 and then the next sample is 0 so we will be assigning the output variable y equals t is uh, less than n so what does that indicate time t is less than n minus 0 multiplied by t equals 1 okay if this is a condition we need to apply the time t with the variable n okay what was the va value of n n equals 1 so 1 will be assigned from here to here okay one will be assigned from here to here uh, then that would be plotted d is equal to plot of t comma y plot of t comma y so you got uh, this is your time t so this is your plot of t comma y so this t is nothing but a time t which we have taken here so this and y will be plotted that would be y okay next the same thing would be continued now one uh, time interval is over next what we need to do we need to take it for second interval so here once you are assigned so it ends here and n will be automatically incremented to n plus 1 so n equals what 2 so now the time interval again starts from a uh, 2 okay so the time interval will be starting from 2 so it will be so it will be taking from 2 to 3 okay so from here to here but since here uh, we have taken it as 0 to 1 so earlier it was what n is equal to instead of 1 it was 0 so n is equal to 1 plus 1 means it starts from this interval okay for the one entire cycle we will be computing this next again for 0 will be computing this then again the value of n gets updated so n get updated every time the binary value is assigned over here okay next when we come for this plotting when I come for this plotting d is equal to plot of t comma y so a plotting y function so the y function is this axis okay and this is the time axis okay next uh, title so this is your title line code unipolar then set d comma line width okay the width of this line okay is set as 2.5 you can choose whatever you need next hold on okay this is used to hold every sample that is being displayed over here first one is displayed the next during the next interval it, this will be displayed okay but the earlier has to be holded on so you are making use of the hold on okay then axis okay 0 to length of h minus 1 so first you will be uh, describing the length of x axis so it starts from where it starts from 0 up to length of h is what 4 4 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 
but what you have done is you have done here length of l plus 1 we are given here so this is length of h minus h1 would be up to 4 ok so it will be up to 4 the next this is the so this is the amplitude axis so in this direction so this is what this is your horizontal axis and this is your vertical axis so it starts from minus 1.5 till plus 1.5 ok so this is how we will be plotting the unipolar nrz format so the same logic holds for other functions if the value was 0 for the first interval ok there is a first sample and if the next sample is also 0 then this all will be assigned if the first sample is 0 and if the next sample is 1 this would be assigned if the first sample itself is 1 then it enters into this location ok it enters into this location ok so this is the logic for this uh, program uh, next let us consider return to 0 now let us consider return to 0 so when I execute this return to 0 program so again it asks for what enter the binary data stream so I will be entering it as 1 0 or 1 0 1 and click on enter now we look at the output over here So the data which are uh, uh, provided is uh, 1 so th this is your time interval so this is what return to 0 format whenever you are representing 1 so it would be 1 only for half of the cycle and it returns back to 0 after half time interval so it's called as what return to 0 again it is making use of only positive amplitude so it's called as unipolar polar return to 0 next uh, 0 0 would be represented by the complete 0 voltage ok over the entire second next is 1 so for the half time interval the value would be 1 and for the next half it would be 0 so this is what unipolar return to 0 format ok so the difference between non return to 0 and return to 0 is in return to 0 for, uh, for 1 it would be 1 only for half time interval and it returns back to 0 after the half interval whereas in case of non return to 0 uh, the amplitude 1 will be remaining 1 for the entire cycle that is the only difference ok again when we come for the program so if we consider the program the only thing you need to consider here is n minus 0 0.5 just because uh, whenever it is 1 ok whenever it is 1 it has to be 1 only for the half interval so it considering as n minus 0 0.5 again here n minus 0 0.5 so that is the only difference and most of the thing will remain as it is which was uh, the program which you have written for uh, non return to 0 ok uh, so these are the two programs that is return to 0 and non return to 0 so uh, explain the PCM program earlier so in the PCM program what you are trying to do uh, you are trying to uh, sample the signal then quantize that and the quantized integer was converted to binary and those binary, uh, uh, binary uh, uh, signals were transmitted ok so if it was 1000 0, 0, 0, so the row vector was uh, transmitted right so this row vector while you are transmitting over the channel we need to send what no, zeros and ones uh, these ones and zeros will be transmitted and the channel using either 
uh, RZ format or answer in RZ format. RZ means uh, return to zero. If you need to represent one means one for the half cycle will be one, next it will be zero. Next one means half cycle one, next is zero. If it is uh, 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 non return to zero means for the entire cycle it will be one again from here the entire cycle would be one okay so this is how we will be transmitting the uh, data bits over the uh, channel so for part b and advanced communication uh, these are the three programs which you need to learn so uh, attach the program you can download it in the below link